Okay. All right. This is for someone in the audience, special to me, so yes. All right. <coughs> 1510. In order to paint a woman, Giorgione imitates the postures of statues. He paints a sleeping Venus, a woman whose skin is poreless like butter, whose body is strewn out like a velvet sheet over linen shining. Her eyes averted in choiceless submission. 1538, his apprentice paints the exact same Venus, imposing upon her a lustful gaze for her viewer. 1863, Edward Manet awakens Venus to the light of reality. He paints from life, shapes her with a light which is both beautiful and unsettling. He concludes centuries worth of unconscious goddesses with Olympia the mortal, whose short, natural body and unsubmissive stare refuse, so let her be the subject of someone's fantasy. 1995, he is born with a head of hair golden like Nebraska corn. 2006, his favorite color is yellow. 2013, the first time he touches me is a literal response to me saying, I feel you, whereupon he drags his hand across the front of my face and says, I feel you too. 2014, I try to write him into a poem. So I show him constant and bright yellow like the sun, but today, his favorite color is blue, like the shirt his mother bought, the one he didn't like at first. Today, I can't describe him as if he is yellow, as if he will always be yellow. He is not a Venus, not the pigment to be shaped by my artist hands. I would be lying if I told you this poem is for him. He doesn't need a poem. I need a poem to document his changing colors, <coughs> the beauty in each hue, to document the growing way he loves me, so that I don't forget to love myself like that. So that I don't forget to love him like that. To document the growing way he loves himself. So that I can, so I can live in it, like a new skin. Manet is not a genius. He is a photographer, a documenter, a journalist aiming at what is real. Olympia is the soul, the reference image that made the, the painting worth looking at. The beauty in creation was referenced from God. If we want to be good artists, if we want to paint honest portraits of each other, we have to find the blueprints under our skin, the fingerprints left by our potter. Today, yesterday, you told me your hair is the color of clay.